Hello everyone and welcome to Recocrine Aesthetics Academy. I wanted to talk about mesotherapy, microneedling, what's the difference, you know, what are the benefits from the treatment, so um, watch the end, till the end of the video. I would like to outline that I'm referring to needle injected mesotherapy treatment using actual needle. So I have that here. Our course, we cover the needle one, point by point technique. Yeah, it's like the proper treatment where we really inject active ingredients under the skin. And also we show how to use a mesu gun for hair loss treatment. The first slit introduced in 1950s by the French doctor Michael Pister was used for pain relief and then in the last 20 years has evolved and it's used in aesthetic industry very successfully. So what exactly the treatment involves is uh, injecting active ingredients, active amino acid, peptides, hyaluronic acid, vitamins, minerals, directly into the dermis of the skin. I would say more like an upper dermis of the skin to target different skin concern and improve, improve the skin. So we have a solution, yeah, and we inject tiny little amount of that solution with each injection under the skin. And about microneedling treatment, in 1990s, Dr. Desfernandez um, has further uh, developed and introduced the microneedling treatment as we know it today, treating scars, stretch marks, fine lines, wrinkles, mm -hmm. and just use it as um, collagen induction therapy. This is probably one of the best description for that treatment. So what exactly microneedling is? We use tiny microneedles to multiple times penetrate the skin, yeah, epidermally and dermally. Uh, and once we penetrate the skin, we cause very controlled trauma to the skin, yeah? So we can use uh, different depth of penetration, and I'll show you uh, that needling device. We use at the school. Okay, so this is my micro needling device, which is, you know, a Korean brand called Bella. And it's metal, it's metal device. It's quite steady, it's, you know, you can feel it. It has some kind of weight. Um, we also can see the depth, potential depth of penetration we can use with the treatment. And at the top is my tip. So if I take this off, yeah. with microneedling, we have three types of devices we can use. Um, and this is the automated device or automatic device. The second one is the simple derma roller, which, you know, it was used more in the past. Um, and then we also have the derma stamp. Yeah, so the derma stamp, so we can just stamp the skin um, manually. As we are causing micro injuries with the needles, the skin own uh, response to that is to heal. When the skin starts healing itself, okay, the skin also starts producing more collagen and elastin fibers, yeah, so that kind of um, skin heals and we have a freshly, you know, rejuvenated skin. More collagen, more elastin. We have the plumpness effect of that, also firmness effect of that and overall very beautiful glow. On another side, we're also going to improve our uh, pigmentation. If we have any pigmentation, if we have any discoloration on the skin, is also going to be improved with the treatment. In our days, probably the most popular one, it will, you know, it will always be the, the automatic device because the treatment is very quick. We also can adjust our depth of penetration. So just to cover similarities between those two treatments, microneedling and mesotherapy, they both use needles to actually improve the skin. With the needling, we have multiple penetrations, small tiny injuries, yeah? And then we are expecting the skin to kind of improve collagen elastin, to induce the collagen when the skin starts healing, when that kind of healing process kicks off. 
with the mesotherapy, I still injecting that solution under the skin, the needle still penetrate the skin, that means that I still induce the collagen with that treatment. So that's like really the similarity between both of them. They both have the effect from the needling treatment and that collagen uh, induction. In terms of solution used or serum used during microneedling treatment, we can simply use hyaluronic acid gel. So I usually use this um, hyaluronic acid gel, which is very, I'll show you here. So it's very easy and smooth to glide over the skin. So we use this with our um, microneedling. This is pure hyaluronic acid gel. And yes, some of the gel can go in the skin. Of course, we need to make sure that that gel is suitable to be used during microneedling treatment. With the mesotherapy treatment, we are using the mesotherapy cocktail. Yes, yeah, so that cocktail, as I said, has also some hyaluronic acid, peptides, amino acids, vitamins, minerals. So there is another term which um, you probably have seen online, and we call that term um, microneedling mesotherapy. So this is a completely third version of what I've just been explaining now. And this is simply microneedling treatment, but for the during the microneedling treatment for the procedure, we're actually using miso cocktail. And practitioners usually call that treatment microneedling mesotherapy treatment. And also, we can combine both treatments at the same time. We can do needling all over the skin and then we can do mesotherapy just to further penetrate you know, the skin and actively pack that skin with beautiful ingredients so it can rejuvenate from inside. Microneedling is really good for overall skin resurfacing. Uh, it can treat scars, including acne scars, deep acne scars, also surgical scars uh, and stretch marks. On the other side, the mesotherapy really improves the skin quality because the solution goes deeper. Since the mesotherapy uses single needle, um, the penetration is much less. Um, with the microneedling, we have many needles and the penetration is very, very quick and uh, multiple times, so it's very good um, treatment for resurfacing the skin. Also, the needles for both treatments differ in length. Uh, with microneedling, we can adjust, as I already explained, that the, the depth of penetration with the mesotherapy is difficult unless we are using mesogun. Uh, if not, we just have to um, kind of decide ourselves how deep to go, but one to two millimeters uh, depth under the skin, just so we really implement the solution where it should be, not epidermally, dermally. And again, they both are incredible treatments to offer to your, to your customers and really complement each other, giving incredible results. So that was more or less the summary or the differences and um, similarities between those two treatments, microneedling and mesotherapy. I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you have any questions related to the video or to any of our courses, please comment on the section below or you can just contact us on mission at and we will get back to you.